So in the previous video, we learned about how to go ahead and create a React application for the front end and display uh, the posts from WordPress using WordPress REST API. Okay, so we access this endpoint that WordPress provides and it's WordPress REST API and we displayed uh, the posts uh, using React. Okay, so we looped through all the items when we got the response from the endpoint. Uh, for the request that we made okay so in this video we are going to continue with a uh, project and what we're going to do is basically uh, when the user clicks on this post then we're going to go ahead and uh, open up a, a page wherein the details of the post will be displayed so currently i have all the information being displayed of the post so what we can do is we can display the excerpt instead of displaying the whole post and then on that uh, single page we can display the whole information so <clears throat> let's see what we get into our response is the data so let's say home so currently we have these four posts and do we have excerpt yes we do have excerpt and excerpt dot rendered will give us the excerpt okay so I'm gonna say instead of saying content I can just say excerpt, excerpt, <clears throat> and sure enough, you can see now the excerpt is being displayed. Now we can give uh, a button uh, at the bottom as well, so we can put a button right here. Uh, in fact, that'll be a link uh, to that particular single post. Okay, so you can say read read more we can give it a class name of button so class name of btn btn secondary and uh, we should also give it a float right so it floats right <coughs> okay and uh, of course it needs to point to that single post so we already have a route available if you go to app.js we have a route available at post slash id so we can do the same thing here as well so post slash post id I'll put that here okay so when the user clicks it'll take me to this route with this, with this post id okay great uh, also we need to do some loader you need to use some loader we haven't done that yet okay so I'm just gonna use a loader that I have so this loader it looks pretty good so I'm just gonna include that into the source directory <clears throat> and in the webpack again I don't have an appropriate loader to handle the this type of uh, files the image files basically so I just need to install file loader for that okay so I'm just going to say npm install file loader <clears throat> okay so once it's installed I can just put that information there <clears throat> I'll just say use file loader and over here it's a gif I guess yes it's a gif so I'll just use gif over there <clears throat> and um, Let's try that. I'm just going to close this and run it again. Okay, so we need to import the loader. So let's import it. Import loader from loader. Where is it? Loader.gif. Yeah. And then right at the bottom, what we're going to do is so remember, we already got this. Uh, logic going on which means the loading is initially false which means the loader will not show once the component gets mounted uh, we'll setting the loading to true and then making a request and once we've received the response we're setting the loading to false so that will make the loader show only when the posts are being fetched and once it's completed fetching the post or if there's any error once the request is complete then it's going to stop uh, showing the loader so for that all we have to do is uh, basically just check over here saying loading so I just need to pull out loading from the state 
okay and then over here I'll say loading and then and and then let's put an image over here closing tag and the source will be loader okay and it needs an alt attribute and let's say loader and let's give it a class name of loader loader and let's go ahead and give it a style sorry to loader we'll say position absolute top zero I want to keep it in the center basically uh, top zero bottom zero left zero and right zero and then uh, once that is all zero margin will be auto so this will keep that loader in the center so let's see if that's working close it refresh uh, okay great we have got this loader but I think it's too big so we can reduce its size so let's give it a width how much do we give 60 pixels and say let's see it's too small I guess 100 should be good I guess let's give it 100 okay great so you can see now when we refresh the page when the component gets mounted till the time the request is being fetched the loader shows and after that it goes away brilliant awesome so that takes care of the loader part we also need to handle the errors because think about it if I put something incorrectly like this we won't have the post showing but we are not telling the user anything about it right so loader goes away because we are setting the loading to false once we have an error but we are not really handling that error so what error do we have fail to lo reload the resource uh, let's see what we get in the error so I'll go over here I go to my home component I'll check so inside of error we have an entire object available and inside of the data we have 404 and then we have message saying no route was found matching the URL request method so error dot data dot message okay so error dot response dot data Uh, and that's gonna be dot message I guess yeah just message so data dot message now if I check go back to my home component and sure enough we have this error over here so all I have to do is just display it so in order for me to display the error again what I'll do is I'll go ahead and pull out the error from the state say error and then over here uh, where do I display it Just, I think I can display it um, right below the nav bar I can say error if there is error so if this condition is true whatever is on the right hand side will be evaluating and rendered okay so this will be the div and let's give it a class name of alert and alert danger and over here let's say error okay great awesome let's see awesome so you can see now that it says no route was found matching the URL and the request method great let's put it back to normal posts and sure enough now we have our post available great now the next thing we need to do is if you click on read more you can see now it goes to single post but what's not happening is that it's not really displaying anything right now it's just displaying single post so what we need to do is we need to catch hold of this ID and then make another request so we have uh, an option that we can fetch the post by its ID okay so let's have a look retrieve a post you can see we have a, we, we can do a get request and we can just mention ID next to it and this will give me that particular post information with that ID so we already have a component in place uh, 
which is which we built in the previous video which was single component all it has is just this text is being displayed over here okay so the first thing we need to do is get the nav bar so we'll say nav bar okay and then uh, let's do the same thing over here as well so I think I can copy this rather than doing it again so constructor super and then we have a state defined we have loading set to false and instead of post let's keep it post and uh, also let's keep this object because we're not going to be having multiple posts we'll just have one post so we can just have this uh, as an object okay and then inside of component did mount so I'll take this whole thing rather than doing it all over again okay paste it so what we're doing gonna do is we have this WordPress site URL which is basically the URL for my WordPress uh, local install when you're doing it on the live site then you need to put your live site URL for example imranseer.com or whatever your site is okay and then we're setting this uh, loading to true first and then we're going to make a request this time not to post but to post I think it's post or post let me just check it's post only okay but this time is going to need an ID okay so slash and then it will need an ID now the best part is that we have the ID available on top right here so if I do a console on this dot props dot ID you will notice that I will get, get that ID available so you can see 421 that's what we have right here right great so what we can do is we can pass the ID into the request that we are making so I can again use this dot props dot ID okay and again when we get the data we set the loading to false uh, we set post to rest dot data not posts okay and then this takes care of the handling any errors and over here is where you need to display the single post okay so again uh, what we can do is basically I think uh, we can create a div over here in fact let me just copy this whole thing we have already got all of this in place so there's no need to type it again okay so let me show you what we can do so we don't need the post uh, dot length what we need is post because it's an object so object dot keys post and let me pull out post from here so I'll say const post I need post over here I need error I need uh, loading and I need to pull it from the state okay and then object dot keys dot post dot length which means if if the post is available then go ahead and do this we don't need to map it so because it's just a single post so I'll get rid of that and now I think that should take care of it let me just check so we don't need the link now because we are already displaying all of the details of the post so we'll just say post.title.rendered and instead of excerpt now is the time when we can use content to display the content this will display the post date and we don't need to read more now because we are already displaying all of the content of the post okay we need a loader it's already there we don't need a link we'll get rid of that we're handling the error it's all been explained in the previous video guys just to recap of that so basically what's happening is once the user so you can see you already got all of the information you don't need to do anything right so going back to home when the user clicks on read more let's say this one what happens is it goes to this URL and we already got the route set up for that into our app.js that you've set up using uh, router reach router we have a single post component that if user goes to post in this ID <coughs> then it's going to render this component and we have the ID available inside of this dot props dot ID so when the component gets mounted we're going to access the rest uh, endpoint at this URL and passing the ID here it's going to get me a single post data 
we set the loading to false, set the post data to this, and then we go ahead and render that post by going ahead and catching hold of the ID, the title, the content, and the date. That's what we're doing. I'm using a loader over here in case if this loading is set to true, then show the loader. Okay, so that's pretty much what's happening over here, guys. Okay, so I hope this is pretty much clear. Now, in the next video, guys, what we're going to learn is basically how to authenticate, which means that how to go ahead and create a login for the user. So, we'll create a login component and then we'll create a form. The user will go ahead and enter his username and password that is for WordPress. And we're going to use the JWT token uh, authentication plugin that's available for WordPress which we will install it onto our WordPress and then we're going to go ahead and access the route that it provides us uh, we will pass the username and the password uh, and it in return is going to give us the token we'll save that token into local storage and then anytime we request a private uh, route then we're going to uh, you know pass the token in the header so that it's authenticated awesome guys so I hope you did like the video. If you did, please do subscribe to my channel. Also, uh, do follow me on Twitter. That will really motivate me even do better. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.